Hi, and welcome to Marco's Paper, Top 12 Christmas Favorites for 2013. Today we're going to talk a little bit about embossing paste. There are several different manufacturers of embossing paste. Uh, we're going to use a couple different ones. Golden makes an embossing paste. Uh, Wendy Vecchi with Studio 490 has a paste. It's made by Dreamweaver, who also has another line of embossing paste. There's several out there, but those are some of the ones that we like. Embossing paste is fun because you can make texture, you can make dimension, and we're going to try a couple different things and hopefully they work out. First of, all, first of all, I am going to I've created my own little stencil here. It's just a Christmas tree that I cut out with a uh, die, and I'm going to use that for my stencil today. I'm going to take my embossing paste on my palette knife and rub it over, over the stencil. Now, we're going to do a little something extra with the stenciled Christmas tree. So I'm going to get a moderate coat on there. Sometimes you have to play with a little bit to get the amount on there that you would like. I want it to be fairly smooth for the technique that we're going to use. So I've embossed my tree with my paste, or I put my embossing paste into my tree. So now I'm going to stamp it just to give the tree some texture. Before you do that, you always need to spritz your stamp with some water. If your stamp isn't wet, it's going to stick. So we'll try this. Take your stamp, place it into your embossing paste, lightly press, you don't have to press too hard, and then you want to peel up. And you'll see there's some paste in there. Um, essential that you go ahead and wash those right away. I'm just going to put my wet paper towel over that. And here comes the, I hope it worked, part. We peel away. And here we have our tree. Yay! So now we have a tree with some texture in it. We can go ahead and color that later with some other goodies. But I'm going to show you that takes, uh, that'll probably take it a couple hours to dry because it is fairly thick. I have a couple little places here that are a little rougher than I want, so I'm just going to kind of smooth them down a little bit. So that's our tree. I've already created some snowy background down here with embossing paste. I just used my knife, created a little hill, and now I have my tree on there. And we will set that aside to dry for a later project. Now I'm going to show you another fun way to use stamps and embossing paste. I'm going to clean my palette knife here just to get some of this excess paste off before it dries. Now, the technique that we just used with our embossing paste and stamp is what I've already done here. I just put some embossing paste down on my page while it was still wet. I took my tree stamp, spritzed it, put it into my embossing paste. Don't press too hard, but just enough to get your image then gently lift it up and I've come away with my tree image. Now that may be a little hard to see the tree image there, but I'll tell you what we're going to do to make that stand out a little more. So we're going to get our gelatos back out, do a little bit of coloring, and I like a couple colors. I think that's always interesting. I'm going to spritz some water down here, and as Chris showed you in one of the other gelato videos, you can just paint with your gelatos. So I'm going to take my paint, water, go right in here to my tree shapes. And you can see I'm getting a couple different shades of green mixed in there. Gives a little more depth and dimension. If the color's a little heavier than you want, just come back down with some water. You can watercolor that and wash it right into the embossing paste. So you can create some interesting backgrounds and effects using embossing pastes and stamps. So here is part of a piece that I finished earlier that has the trees that have been painted with the gelatos. In the greens, we I've used the brown gelato to paint the trunks in those. 
the embossing paste, I took some of the blue gelato, just like I did here, and painted it blue for my sky. And there we have kind of an interesting texture, um, a deboss of our stamp, and it gives a nice little texture to that. So there's a couple different things you can do with embossing paste. You can use them to just create background texture. You can use it to go through your stencil to stencil with and then stamp over the top of that to create some texture in your pieces. And you can also color on top of your embossing paste with gelatos and various other media, different kinds of inks and paints. Chris has a few other ideas that she's going to show you with embossing paste. Okay, I am going to use <clears throat> a stencil with my embossing paste and this is a plastic stencil so it is a little thicker than a piece of cardstock and you'll see uh, the results of that on our uh, Nina Desert Storm cardstock. This is one of my favorite craft um, cardstocks and the embossing paste looks really nice on this. So instead of using the white paste alone, I'm going to add some reinker. This is um, Distress Reinker, and I'm going to add four little drops here and get a nice fire brick color. And it's a lot like working with icing. I think that's why I like it so much. And then I'm going to use my spatula here to spread it over my stencil. And you want a nice layer. You can kind of be generous. And then I'm going to use an old gift card so it evens up the paste. Start from the bottom and go up. You can get a nice even coating. There is the cardstock piece with the fired brick colored embossing paste. And as Debbie said, it's important to clean off um, your tools because this will harden and you want to be able to reuse your tools. So my gift card is all cleaned off. Quickly clean off my palette knife. And I have a finished card to show you here. I use the Tim Holtz Baroque die on my embossed piece and then layered one of the blueprint stencils. It was the Christmas tree. Cut out several layers, popped those up with pop dots. Um, added a embossed background, used some of the seam binding like we've used in our other videos. This I uh, colored with walnut stain um, distress ink and added a sentiment. So another way to use embossing paste um, and customize to uh, match your card.